AI is coming to the hospitality industry, guys, and I don't know what you're thinking. It might be what you're thinking, it might not be what you're thinking. It's not gonna be the Terminator or anything like that. Maybe the origin story to the Terminator, if the Terminator liked to stay in nice hotels and give good reviews afterwards. What are the benefits in it for you? What can you use it for? I mean, let's start from the top. I don't know if any of you out there use ChatGPT, but an obvious thing is it'll just provide very quick, well-researched answers to questions like the greatest concierge in the world, the most knowledgeable concierge in the world. I don't know how many of you have actually been on ChatGPT, but like, for example, you can go on there and write, write me five haikus about the best butcher shops in the region, and it'll do it. But the thing you have to remember is that this is basically just like predictive text. It's a learning model. It's a learning model like the best kind of concierge. Hence, any question you have, it'll do it for you. Next up, another very handy thing. It can provide a chatbot function, like a quick text, on your website. So none of those, you know, fill in the blanks to all the answers beforehand and eventually, like let's say, I don't know, have you ever used a, a, a bot, so to speak, as a customer service thing, you know? And you know you're just gonna ask a couple of canned questions before you eventually click the box of, I'm still not satisfied, and you'll have to talk to a human. That'll be less and less so as these AI chatbots evolve. You won't have to fill in answers, you'll just have to, I don't know, put that little chatbot on your website and it will answer the questions for you. Next up, you'll be able to answer comments and reviews with ChatGPT. Now, this is rudimentary and amazing, quite frankly. Let's say you've got bad review, let's say you've got good review. Well, first of all, you should be answering all reviews. I mean, we cover that in the fostering customer loyalty section, I believe, the course on over on the hotelclub.com. But anyway, you should be answering all reviews. Maybe you don't have quite time for that, or maybe you don't have the energy, you know, at a downtime part of the day. Maybe rather than putting on the business voice yourself, you'd prefer to say, hey, ChatGPT, uh, acknowledge the problem that this guy says about the kettle not being in the room, use a professional but friendly voice and assure him that the next time he comes to say, there'll definitely be a kettle in the room. And voila, it'll just roll it out for you just like that. It's pretty amazing, big time saver. But a much bigger time saver? It's gonna write your blog post for you. Now, for those of you who don't know the importance of SEO on a hotelier's website, particularly in the blog section of it, well, first of all, you should head on over to um, our website building course. That's right, on the Hotel Club, because we'll run down through it. But basically, you can use your blog to hook people to your site using keywords, right? You won't have as much time that'll reflect how important it is, you know what I mean? But with one like ChatGPT, Writer, or Jasper, what you can do is you can just say, write me a thousand word article about the five best restaurants in my area using the following keywords. A restaurant, London, you know, the George Road, whatever you like. All those keywords there and it'll just go, mm, okay, instead of you at the computer going, think, think, how, it'll just go, okay. It doesn't have to serve breakfast earlier in the day. Those AI programs are always there for you and they won't get tired. Next up, and this is a very big one, guys, it's just arriving, as a matter of fact, is to run better ads, okay? So if you're a hotel and you're doing ads, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be with Google. Um, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be just pulling keywords out of it and trying to hook your ad onto a certain keyword to get people over towards you. Now, Google have a new thing out that's almost designed specifically for hoteliers, which is called Google Performance Max, which will basically do the legwork of competition research, advertising research for you, and suggest exactly the kind of ad that you should produce. Now, it's not some person in Google headquarters doing the research for you, no. It's an AI bot, guys, so that's another way they're in your court. And finally, you're running a blog, but I mean, if you're anything like me, you don't like reading unless there's some nice pictures there too. As a matter of fact, I prefer only pictures, but to, to each their own. Whatever the case, you can go on to places like a Dale 2, I think, a Crayon, Dream Studio, and what they'll do is they'll generate your photos for you. You'll type in, I don't know, photo of satisfied looking customer talking to handsome ginger receptionist slash manager with beard, and voila, it'll come up right there on the screen for you and you can pop it on top of your blog. AI will do the work so you don't have to. For your guests, the sky is kind of getting to be the limit for this, guys, because basically 
you know, a chat program, as I mentioned, it's like a predictive text. It's a language learning model. It's just using all the information and throwing the best of it at you in a friendly way. You can actually get it in a friendly way. It's not just throwing a dart blindly into Google and seeing what travel blog you hit anymore. You, you can literally say, D tell me all the things I need to do. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm headed on holidays next week. I typed in the address of the place I'm staying and said, from there, give me a three hour walk around the city of Portugal that'll hit all the nice historical tourism locations. And not only did they give me that, they recommended a bar that I stop at along the way, okay? And you can extend that out. You can go, I mean, let's say you're doing two weeks traveling around the USA. You can just, let's say, I'm landing at such and such an airport in California. I'm gonna be there for two weeks. Tell, I'll rent a car, tell me a place, tell me places I can go while st I don't wanna stay anywhere longer than a day. Best places to stop, I'm interested in X, Y, and Z. Give it to me in bullet point format, blah, 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 blah. It will do it for you guys. And if you don't like it, you can tell it to do it again, all right? I, th as I said, the sky is getting to be the limit, okay? But here's the thing. It's the future and we're gonna to get to the sky and get past it, we're gonna to get to the stars because we can expect some great things from this in the future. Basically, they'll hook you up with a voice assistant, the likes of Alexa, and you'll be able to say, I don't know, here, look, <laughs> AI, I give you permission to use my credit card, I give you a budget, I give you a date I'm going to America, book everything, get it done. Like an online travel agency, par excellence, more than the acronym currently means. Are you getting my meaning? Somebody who will do all the planning and all the paying for you, all you gotta do is give them a date. That is certainly coming. I mean, if it's not coming, take note. I just thought of it right here and I want copyright on that idea. Another idea, face recognition connected to the Cardex. Now, if you don't know what a Cardex is, yeah, head over to thehotelclub.com, subscribe a course, and then do our course on building customer loyalty. There's a lot about it in there, okay? And Cardex is, in this day and age, should be digital and connected to every aspect of your business anyway, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to get up on that. You need to get up on that before they start using my next idea, which would be face recognition connected to the Cardex. So I'll give you the scenario. Imagine in the Hotel X, Mr. Murphy comes to stay regularly, okay? Mr. Murphy likes to sit by the window because he likes to look at the river, he's a vegetarian, but he's allergic to mushrooms, okay? He walks in the door of the restaurant, something recognizes his face, and right on the screen in front of the, of the, the host appears this little profile so he can just say, Mr. Murphy, we have a table waiting for you over by the window right now, we know you like to sit there, we've got a vegetarian, lasagna on special, don't worry, we'll prepare a portion free of mushrooms just for you. That kind of thing. Gives you the edge, if you know what I'm talking about. Another thing you could look to would be, I mean, highly, highly sophisticated, personalized revenue management that'll make crazy accurate predictions, okay? Now, if you've, I mean, there's plenty of gadgets out there for revenue management at the moment, okay? Actually, our a uh, proud sponsor amenities uh, has one called Smart Pricing, which is very, very interesting um, for the independent hotelier, let's say. Um, but going forward into the future, I mean, let's say, if I try to book a flight on my computer and I try to book a flight on your computer, the data that those flight meta searches are getting is crazy. It'll be a personalized price, okay? In the future, using AI, you're talking about revenue management systems that'll do that kind of thing for hotels, okay? Ones that will look into positive reviews that certain people have given to properties that are like yours, enthusiastic reviews, that'll look at the language and think to themselves, this person likes this kind of location, Will we advertise in a certain way, they'll pay X amount of money. There you got it, personalized pricing, guys with crazy accurate predictions, that is on the way. Now guys, you won't be able to look on the internet these days and look up ChatGPT without running into some apocalyptic predictions like it's going to uh, take over everybody's job and make certain things redundant, that it's gonna distort information in, in certain ways. And guys, I mean, if there's one thing that unites all of history is that every single year humans have been keeping records, there's been somebody saying it's the end of times, um, and spoiler alert, it hasn't quite arrived just yet. So I'm very trepidatious about that, particularly when, I mean, I've used these AI systems, I planned my holiday next week's with them, I see nothing but fantastic for the moment. But I mean, that said, one of the things that people lead with, the job replacement thing, I mean, 
that's not exactly a million miles away. It's not the end of the world either, but I mean, let's say some of you might uh, be familiar with um, those Amazon stores they started opening up, where basically if you're well enough connected with your Amazon account and it's all connected to your bank and everything like that, and your GPS is on, etc. You can walk into one of these stores, just pick out your product and walk out and it'll charge you automatically, okay? There's no tellers, there's no security, there's no anything, okay? It's all just walk in, walk out. I mean, there will be hotels like that going forward. I mean, I don't know that I would like to stay in one of them, but they will be there. So if you're the sort of hotel here that does not like to deal with people whatsoever, I mean, you might be in the wrong business, A, but B, you can just make an investment in one of these sort of establishments in a, in a while, get cleaners to come in at night when nobody will encounter them and nobody talks to anybody or looks anybody in the eye. You'll be able to do that, and AI will be a lot of the reason why. There'll be no need to have receptionists, there'll be no need to have a concierge, there'll just be a friendly voice saying, uh, hello, here are all the things to do in this neighborhood, and these are nice restaurants. May I take your coat, etc." Now, that's if you just want more time to relax. That's there if you want it. Actually, there'll always be more time to relax in this scenario because the bottom line is, the main thing that this will lift off your workers is it'll take away the necessity to do repetitive tasks. So when I say that you won't need to have a receptionist, you basically, you won't need to have a receptionist who is willing to just do donkey's work again and again over and over. You'll be able to look more into hiring humans with personalities. You yourself will have more room and more space to be creative because these types of software will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you guys. And that's really the idea. I mean, as I said, these are just learning programs that expand on what's out there, that, you know, they take the knowledge that's available online and put it to the use that you need it to so that you are left there in your venue to be a human communicating with humans. It's really, really a win-win if you can only look at it like that, guys. Okay, guys, so go to ChatGPT right now. Write yourself a blog post with the right keywords, okay? And then with the one hour you save in time in doing that, I mean, why not just take 10 minutes and learn how to get on Google Hotel Search, which is another very valuable topic that we've covered on this channel. And if you like this channel, guys, please subscribe to it. Please share the video with your friends. And please head over to thehotelclub.com and subscribe to the newsletter and become part of the community. It's all for free and it's all for a good cause. You guys. See you next time.